Hello, this is Daniel Povey, and today we're asking him what's the difference between I vectors and X vectors. Okay, so I vectors and X vectors are both concepts from uh, speaker recognition, meaning like speaker identification. So it's basically a fixed dimensional vector of, let's say, the dimension 256 or 512 or something like that. The, the, it's supposed to represent the information about the speaker. Uh, but the, uh, the the special thing, the original thing about I vectors was that you extract an I vector from like just a recording, and it it contains information about both the speaker and the uh, the kind of recording conditions, and then you use other methods to separate the to separate those two sources of variation like PLDA and stuff. But for CALDI purposes, we mostly use I vectors for a, a very basic form of speaker adaptation so that when we train a neural network, we input the I vector as a kind of extra input to the neural network and it helps it to adapt. And actually, for the most part, it just acts, it has a similar effect to just like mean normalization or something like that because it can use the I vector to figure out, you know, what's roughly the mean of the uh, the input features. So, Actually, in the end, I kind of regretted in re regretted putting the iVector stuff in because you can get most of the improvement just from uh, giving it the mean of the features up till the present point. So anyway, so that's what iVectors are. Now, X vectors is a kind of a neural net version of iVectors where uh, you basically train a neural net to discriminate between speakers. And inside the neural net, it has there's some kind of embedding layer that's just before the classifier and, and you call that the X vector. So you can extract, basically it's a way of extracting a fixed dimensional feature from an utterance. Now, the thing with both I vectors and X vectors is that to train the, the classifier effectively, or to, or to train the system that extracts the I vector or, or the X vector, you need a very huge amount of data. So for I vectors, ideally you want like a thousand hours or something if it's for speaker identification purposes. And for X vectors, like ideally you want something like 10,000 hours, which, which is a bit ridiculous. Now for speech recognition, it's not as critical. So it's fine if you have just like 10 hours or hundred hours, because we're not really using it for speaker identification. We're just using it for a basic form of adaptation. So it's not so critical. Okay, so does Kali use X vectors at all? Uh, well, there are uh, speaker recognition recipes in Caldi. Like if you look at SRE 16, things like that. Uh, the, those That's not for speech recognition though, because uh, there's no advantage of X vectors over I vectors for, uh, for its application to speech recognition. We're just using it, like I said, for basic adaptation. And we don't really need all of that uh, discriminating power of X vectors. So answer is we're using it only for speech for speaker recognition. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.